couple of prayer points we have our seat tonight psalm 68 verse 28 psalm 68 verse 28 thank you jesus psalm 68 verse 28 it reads and i quote Thy God hath commanded thy strength. Strengthen, O God, that which thou hast wrought for us. The message translation of Psalm 68 verse 28 says, Parade your power, O God. The power, O God, that made us what we are. Two prayer points you're going to take this night with audacity and authority you're going to say father parade your power in all that concerns me my finances my spiritual life my marriage my business my career lift your voice and say my father my father my father my father as i begin to pray as i begin to pray parade oh lord parade oh lord parade oh lord parade oh lord thy power thy power Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh God, oh God, parade thy power, parade thy in power all that concerns in me. All that concerns Lift me. your voice up and begin to echo that prayer. Begin to fire that prayer. Fire that prayer. Parade thy power, oh God, the power of God that made us what we are. Meaning it is the power of God that maketh a man what he becomes. Parade thy power, O oh God. Parade your power, O oh God. Parade your power, O oh God. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Parade your power, O oh God. Parade your power, O oh God. Parade your power, O oh God. My affairs, business, spiritual, health wise. Parade it, O God. Parade your power, O oh God. For your word says in Psalm 68, verse 28. Parade your power, O oh God, the power, O oh God, that made us what we are. Parade thy power in all that concerns me, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One more prayer point we're taking tonight, then we'll have our seat. Father, may my life be aligned will the fullness of the revelation of your word for me may my life be ordered mm. the bible says that word of lord is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path yes sir proverbs 35 says every word of god is pure is a e the, the, the bible calls the word e it's a person he is a shield unto them that put their trust in him every word of god is pure Father, may my life be aligned with the fullness of the knowledge of your word and power for my life. Mm. Lift your hands and say, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. May my life. May my life. Be ordered. Be ordered. May my life. May my life. Be charged. Be charged. May my life. May my life. Be orchestrated. Be orchestrated. May my life. May my life. Align itself. Align itself. With the fullness. With the fullness. Of the revelation. Of the revelation. Of your word. Of your word. And power. And power. For me. For me. Lift your voice up and begin to pray where you are. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray. May my life be ordered, orchestrated, designed, charged by the fullness of your word, the fullness of the revelation of your word for me. 
Father, let my life be ordered. Let my life be char charged by your word. Begin to pray. Le praka polo do do hush. Ke prono mo do hush. I refuse to live life without your word back in me. May my life be engineered by the precision of your word. Le praka polo do do hush. Le praka polo do hush. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I pray for your lives that you will not live life without the backing of the world. Amen. I don't think you heard me. You will not live life without the backing of the word of God. Amen. The word of God become the source of your existence from this day. Amen. And everything manifesting itself in your life currently that is contrary to God's intention, His thought, and His word for you, that thing dies tonight. Amen. And the word of God jacks you to life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now re let's read them um, the Bible verse, then we'll have our seat for tonight's message. Open your Bibles with me to Esther, the book of Esther, chapter number two. Esther chapter 2. Please grab, grab your notepads, your pens, your Bibles. Esther chapter number 2. I'm reading verse 5, verse 16, and verse 17. Esther chapter 2, verse 5, verse 16, verse 17, and verse 20. Esther chapter 2, verse 5, verse 16, verse 17, and 20. This is the Bible text for tonight's mes message. Esther 2, 5. It says, Now, in Shushan, the palace there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jahir, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, a Benjamite. And verse 16 of Esther 2 says, So Esther was taken unto King Ahir, Ahishorus into his royal, into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Tibet, in the seventh year of his reign. Verse 17. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained what? Grace. She obtained what? And what? Favor. Someone say grace. Grace. Someone say favor. Favor. In his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of who? Vashti. And let's read the last verse. Verse 20. Esther had not yet showed a kindred nor a people. As Mordecai had charged her, for Esther did the commandment of Mordecai, like as when she was brought up with what? With him. But I thank for the reading of the word. Bless it and let your word put on flesh in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. God evening, everyone. God evening, those who have been able to make it. And everyone on Apostolic TV, we have seen some of your comments here from the altar. God bless you and thank you for joining us electronically now tonight i bring you a word charge titled engaging the ministry of your mother guy hmm. engaging the ministry of your mother guy engaging the ministry of mother guy but i've made it personal by saying your mother guy child of god we live in a day and age where everyone seeks promotion. We seek to do well in life. We seek to prosper. We seek to advance. But fail to seek guidance. Fail to be gui guided. 
fail to be connected to someone or something that brings elevation in our life. We've heard the story of Esther many times, but many haven't caught the mystery of Mordecai's ministry. If I was to sidetrack a bit from this message, we know the story of Mephibosheth, the grandson of King Saul, who was left to rot somewhere in another location called Lodiba. And the Bible tells us that when David became king, he was looking for someone in the house of Saul to bless. And David traveled through the whole country until he met a man called Ziba. As much as we preach about David and the favor he rendered to Mephibosheth, the Bible tells us the role Ziba played. Mm. Meaning between your today and your future, you need a connector. That's right, sir. Between your now and destiny, you need someone in the middle to help you. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Between where you are and where you are going to, you need someone that will link you up. You can be the son of a king and die a peasant hmm. without a connector in the middle. Coming back to my message, the story about Esther, we celebrate Esther and we thank God for what God did in the life of Esther, but we forget the importance pivotal role that a man called Mordecai played. The ministry of Mordecai was pivotal to cancelling out misery in the life of Esther. Your Mordecai cancels out and nullifies misery from your life when you engage his ministry. Your Mordecai could be an uncle, an auntie, but most importantly, someone with spiritual insight into your destiny. Am I talking to someone here tonight? Yes, sir. Someone with spiritual insight into your destiny. A lot of people are lost today because why? They are not connected with the God that has orchestrated their future. God will not come down from the heavens to come speak to you. He's too busy. That's why he has blessed some with prophetic mantles, apostolic mantles to guide, bring edification and a form of leadership to the body of Christ. Without the ministry of Mordecai, Esther would have died in misery. What am I trying to say? If you look at Esther chapter 2, verse 7. And he brought up Adassa. Do you know Esther's name was not Esther? How many of you know that? We talked about, we talk about Esther in church, but we don't even know the true foundation of Esther. The Hebrew, the Jewish, and the birth name of Esther is called Adassa. But Esther was given to Adassa to protect her true Jewish identity in the land of their enslavement. Mordecai, according to Esther chapter 2 verse 7, took a parental role in the life of Adassa called Esther. Adassa, Esther, was his niece, meaning Mordecai's uncle's daughter is Esther. Esther lost the father and the mother at a tender age. Mordecai stepped in. Mm. Whosoever you connect to at the tender stage of your spirituality determines your spiritual destiny. Mm. Yes, sir. Please, I'm coming somewhere tonight. Make sure you are writing something. If not, I will preach to those online. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. Whoever you are connected to at your tender age determines what you what what makes you come of age the parents of adasa died called esther or also known as esther 
Mordecai stepped in. Let's read it here in Esther chapter 2 verse 7. And he brought up Hadassah that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, meaning his niece. For she had neither father or what? Mother. And what happened? And the maid was fair and beautiful whom Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own what? Daughter. May God connect you with people at the tender stage of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God connect you with good people that will play a pivotal role to see you fulfill destiny at the tender stage of your life. May God link you up with the experience 2021. May God link you up with people yes. that will nurture you at the tender stages of your businesses and your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mordecai took a pivotal role in the life of Hadassah, known as Esther. One key factor to note down tonight is understanding the relationship between Mordecai and Esther. Mordecai and Esther. Mordecai went beyond being an, ad an adopted father to being a priest over a great destiny. Who are you connected to spiritually determines how far you get to in life. Hey, listen to me. Determines how far you get to in life. What you are connected to spiritually determines how well you do in life. It's not by passport. You can have a British passport and suffer in a British land. Esther was in the land of enslavement. Esther required a Mordecai. Everyone that wants to be great in life requires a Mordecai. The question is, who is your Mordecai? And have you engaged or do you understand the ministry of the Mordecai? What is the ministry or what are the ministries of Mordecai? This Wednesday, power, what power service? It's a time when we break this down so we can be fueled in the spirit or run well. What is the ministry of Mordecai? Before we get to know what the ministry of Mordecai is, who and what does Mordecai mean? Mordecai means bitter. Mordecai means bruising. It, the name Mordecai means bitter. It means bruising. Someone that will take the bruise for you so you are loose to fulfill destiny. Someone who will stand in the gap for you so your life don't get bitter. They take the bitterness out. That's why so. Mordecai means contrition. C O N T R I T I O N. Contrition. These are pivotal and powerful words. We fail to understand that our pastors are playing in our lives. Are you understanding me? Now, what, what are the ministries of Mordecai? Number one, the ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of wisdom. The ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of wisdom. So when we say engaging the ministry of your Mordecai, it means engaging the ministry of wisdom. The ministry of Mordecai means engaging the ministry of wisdom. Number two, the ministry of Mordecai is the ministry of counsel if you look at esther chapter 2 verse 10 and verse 21 to 23 
Esther 2 10 says, Esther had not showed her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. Meaning, Mordecai counseled her, don't reveal your true identity. Many of you, you are too quick to want to make it. When you are being told, calm down, cool down. There is a time of covering and a time of unveiling. There is a time of training and a time of release. There is a time of being kept in a, in, in, as a nobody isolated before you are celebrated. Mordecai, Mordecai counseled Esther. Don't reveal your identity. Some people, the moment they, 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 they make it, their pastor cannot tell them anything again. Because you are counting one small change you think your pastor can no longer talk to you but before you got there your pastor was your the Islam was always on fire the ministry of Mordecai is the ministry of counsel every charge Mordecai gave Esther she followed them she followed them to the latter don't reveal your identity in the house of the king. Stay cool. And she followed. Look at verse 21 to 23. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, two of the king's chamberlains, Bigdan and Teresh, of those which kept the door, were wroth and sought to lay hands on the king Ahasuerus. Verse 22. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto... He counseled Esther again. This is what they want to do to your husband. Go and tell him. She, he, she listened to counsel. Listened to advice. If you don't like counsel, especially godly counsel, you'll be counseled out of life. Lack of counsel will bring the presence of being counseled. Hey, listen to me. Yes, sir. No matter how great you get to in life, you can never grow above godly and wise counsel. Mm -hmm. Ministry of counsel. The Bible says in Psalm 1 verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor seated, standing the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the law. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 15 says The way of a fool is right in his own eyes But he that acknet unto counsel is wise He that acknet unto counsel is wise Proverbs 11 14 It says where no counsel is The people, the people what? They fall so when a place lack counsel, that place is doomed. Destined for the fall. Wherever, listen to me, wherever you are today is as a result of the counsel you have received. Whatever you are today right now is as a result of the counsel that has shaped up your mind. As a result of the counsel that has what, been injected into you, whatever you are today. We are quick to pointing finger out. But what counsel are you walking by? Or what counsel is shaped you up? Where there is no counsel, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. In the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Meaning, counseling is a safety net. That preserves you from having your foot taken or destroyed. Counsel. The Bible says in Proverbs 19, 20, 21. It says, Yea, counsel and receive instruction. That thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. Meaning, counseling for today is for a productive end. What, see, what you receive as counsel today, I listen to me, it might not make sense, but it's for the latter end. Proverbs 28 verse 26 says, He that trusted in his own heart is a fool, 
But whosoever walketh wisely, it shall be delivered. Counsel brings deliverance. Look at Proverbs 15, 22. Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Without counsel, your purpose is disappointed. Proverbs 15, 22. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Now, I gave you when I said Proverbs eleven fourteen, where there is no counsel, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Counselors give you safety through their wise advice. Now, Proverbs 15, 22 says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Who is counseling you? Who are your counselors? Are you being told ah, to go and serve God, to come and mop the floor? The pastor is using your head. In the multitude of counselors, there is safety. There is establishment. The ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of counsel that established Esther in the house of the king. Ministry of counsel that gave Esther safety where Vashti lost a place and all dark virgins were not accepted. Who is counseling you? Number three, the ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of executing your potentials. Mordecai is a ministry that pushes you to fulfill destiny. When you have your, a Mordecai around you, Mordecai's ministry is to ensure Esther fulfilled destiny by becoming queen. Because without Mordecai, Esther would not have become queen at all. Firstly, Esther, if they found that she was a Jew, trying to become queen in, 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 the, in, in the kingdom of Persia and the Medes, she would have been killed or executed. Hence the reason why Mordecai encouraged and told Esther, don't reveal your Jewish roots. Hence the reason why Esther's name was changed from Adasa to Esther. There are advices you receive by your pastor. Your pastor says, do this. It might sound foolish to you, but the pastor, your pastor, your prophet, your man of God, your Mordecai are saying that there is something ahead. And if you reveal yourself or you don't listen to what he's telling you to do, you will get into trouble. So Mordecai helps you execute your, 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 your potentials. Esther chapter 2 verse 8. So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard. And when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace. To the custody of Igai. That Esther was brought also unto the king's house. To the custody of Igai keeper of the women Mordecai took Esther to the place where she will fulfill her destiny if you have people around you who are claiming to be helpers of destiny but they're not helping you fulfill your destiny disconnect if you have people around you who will not push you out of your comfort zone that is not the ministry of Mordecai Mordecai's ministry never leaves you in your comfort zone Mordecai took a common slave girl to, 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 what? to dine with the maidens of the Persian and the Medes kingdom. The Persian kingdom. Mordecai prepared her for a time as that. Esther 2 8. He took her there. When they were gathering other maidens, Despite not being a Jew. But what if Esther was stubborn? I, I, don't, I, I don't feel good enough. There is no good or perfect time to become great. There is no good or perfect time to rise up in life. To be great in life, you must come out of your comfort zone. And the ministry of Mordecai is one of the ministries that pushes a man out of his comfort zone. He took Esther along other maiden 
the ministry of what? Executing your potential. Number four, the ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of passing down values. Everything Mordecai knew, he passed it down to Esther. In the days when you are being trained, humble yourself and listen. Because a time would come when it will rain on you and it's what you have received in training that will sustain you in the rain. Are you listening to me? You want to be famous? Quick, quick. You want to have 20 albums and you have not been trained for that terrain. It will rain down on you with trouble. Many musicians want to be heard all over the world. But in your common church choir, you are not disciplined enough. Once someone can play keyboard and play drum, the charge is 80 pounds per service. That's what's happening in England now. Once you can play guitar, all you can do is pull two strings, boom, 100 pounds per service. That's all. Everybody wants to be the next big thing. But you don't want to be trained to become that big thing. God is not interested in getting you to the top alone. He's interested in keeping you at the top. He's interested in keeping you there. Yes, He's interested in not just seeing you there, but seeing you stay there. Mm. So when God wants to raise a man up, he will first train the man. From the place where you receive a promise to a place of performance is a place of process. The ministry of Mordecai is that ministry that prepares you from your present time for the fulfilled time. The ministry of Mordecai is the ministry that stands between your promise and your performance. But many are not loyal to the ministry of Mordecai. Many are not faithful or patient with the ministry of Mordecai. The ministry of Mordecai was what made Esther come of age in a land of slavery. Coming of age is not how old you are. You can be 50 and useless. And a 15 year old boy is showing you the way in life. You can be 60 and you've not lived a day in your life. You've just been existing that's all. Who is your Mordecai? Meaning, who is your counselor? Who is your Mordecai? Meaning, who is, who is apparently injecting wisdom into you? Who is your Mordecai? Meaning, who is seeing you execute your potential? Who is your Mordecai? Meaning, what values is being passed into you? Some values are good, but are not godly. Mm. Mm. Some values are good, but are not from God. How can you be a believer and your best, your, your mother Kai is an uncle that believes in fetish and traditional ways? My people used to do like this. My people, I, what, what people? Did Jesus die for your people? <laughs> you receive Jesus for your people? You know, in Zimbabwe, we do like this, we do like this, we do like this. Uh, um, uh, uh, what, are, what are the different tribes in Zimbabwe? Eh? Shona. In Shona, we do like this. Don't worry, you'll soon be shunned in life. Oh, you know, in, 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 in Ghana, we, we, we do this and we do that. We, we don't do this in, 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 in Accra. We do like this in Kumasi, in the East Coast and West Coast. Don't worry, your life will be coastal. You carry on. Once you receive Jesus, everything should be kingdom. Yes, sir. Let me share something with you. There is, there is this mentality. Mm. That, oh, when, when I die, um, bury me in my father's village. Take my body. No. That is a mentality that shows you don't know the God you serve. Abraham died. He wasn't buried in his father's house. Listen. The moment 
you discover destiny your destiny becomes your village you have no roots your roots is your future Abraham buried Sarah and roots to where God promised him and when he died he made sure they vowed to take him to bury him in the same place When you die, take me to my village. You'll now be inflicting thousands of pound bill on people. <laughs> then why did you come to England? You should have stayed in your village. How did you come to America? Why did you come to Germany? Why you? Why? 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 Stay back home then. You want to take the resources here, they run back your teeth. Holy. Who built the resources you want to come and take? <laughs> if this land is your land of your calling, then this is your this is now this is your people. This is your this is destiny here. If not, ask God, where should I be? When you are a believer and your Mordecai are traditional advisors, you know you are not saved. And you cannot see. You cannot use traditional advice to fulfill your spiritual destiny. You cannot use traditional advice to fulfill your kingdom destiny. You know, in our, vill in our village, we don't eat crocodile meat. If not, they say it affects women from having belly, being pregnant. Bring the crocodile meat, you'll eat a goosey. Ah. Rubbish. Oh, you understand me? In our in our people, you like um, um, was it one of them? Someone was mis, mis, one of the ministers was saying that in their in their their tribe, I won't mention the person's name. <laughs> what they say they don't eat again? Eh? What don't they eat? Eh? They don't eat um, um, fish or snake meat or what? What is all those rubbish? <laughs> snake meat that tastes like fish. Right, you know you're eating fish. Uh, so it tastes like chicken. Mm -mm. Eh? As I'm talking meat, your head is steaming. Said <laughs> 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 it's steaming. <laughs> eh, that is in Christ is a new creature. All things are passed away. Old things are passed away. All things becomes new. You cannot use traditional counsel, traditional wisdom, traditional advice to fulfill a godly destiny. It doesn't work that way. Light and darkness cannot mix. Listen, Mordecai could not have helped Esther fulfill her destiny in a foreign land if he didn't learn the foreign skills. Mordecai mastered the, 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 the activities of the palace. So he knew how to get Esther in. Many of you, you are seeking counsel from people who haven't heard from God. Many of you are seeking help from people who are not connected to God. You are seeking guidance from people who cannot pray to God concerning your life. Listen, child of God, if God has written a destiny concerning you and your counselor is not in God, you will end up out of God's plans. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir end up out of God's plans. Mother guy sat at the gate. Esther chapter 2 verse 8. So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard. And when the maidens, the many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan the palace to the custody of Igai, that Esther was brought also along. If Esther, if Mordecai was not positioned to know the activities of the palace, how would Esther know when her time was through the help of Mordecai? How will Mordecai know when it was time for Esther to enter the palace? Stop seeking advice from people who have no idea about your future. Stop seeking advice from people who have no idea about God's plans for you. If a man is not ready to seek God concerning your future, he has nothing to offer you. Am I talking to someone here? Yes, sir.
the ministry of Mordecai. The last I said, the ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of passing down values. Number five. The ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of preparation. Preparation. One man you can never compete with on the track is a man that is well prepared. Preparation. Listen, preparation is more important than celebration. Be careful to be prematurely celebrated. If not, you will end up alienated by the same people. When people start clapping for you prematurely, your grave is not far. But everybody wants people to celebrate them quick. Everybody wants to be on flyer. <laughs> Want to be on something. The question is, how prepared are you for the attacks that come by the reason of those things? How prepared? How prepared? Not many celebrities die of depression because <laughs> that terrain, fame comes with the unexpected that catches them off guard. Hmm. Hmm. Fame? Fame, if you aim for fame, you will end up without a good name in life. Because that fame will ruin you. You know the sweetest, the sweetest way to be famous is when you least expect it. You are genuinely doing what you love with a passion, well prepared, and bang, it comes. Your eyes will never be on the fame. Yes, sir. Because you are too consumed doing what you want, you love. Esther never knew that she was going to be queen. She was just getting prepared to be a good woman. But Mordecai had a plan. One thing I want you to know about this ministry of Mordecai. Never try and see beyond what Mordecai has seen. Never try and see beyond what Mordecai has seen. Never try and see beyond what Mordecai is seeing. When he has seen and is nurturing you, walk with the one he's telling you. Take care of today and take your eyes off what could be tomorrow. Prepare with your today. Prepare well today and tomorrow will fall into place. Prepare well today and the future ends up great. I'm going to preach a message one day titled The Dangers of, the, of a Prophecy. I'm going to preach a message titled The Dangers of Prophecy. Many people want prophecy but they're not prepared. You receive prophecy, you have work to do. In fact, it's more dangerous to receive prophecy and you are not ready. God doesn't waste his words. The moment you come into knowledge of what God wants to do, immediately your attack starts. The, the moment God says, through a prophecy, this is what he wants to do, an attack will start. Because why? A great and effectual opponent has been... Oh, has been said before me, but they were great adversaries. Every great door comes great opposition. The dangers of prophecies. That is why it's good to walk with God like a baby. That's true. And it's the reason why Jesus used children. He said, How oh, it will be easy for children to enter the kingdom of God. Children. He says, If you are not like this child, you cannot enter into my kingdom. The ministry of Mordecai is pivotal to what you become and how high you get to in life. It's a ministry of preparation. 
If you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. If you fail to be guided, you are guiding yourself to fail. Even as a pastor, you need to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Hey, listen to me. And number six, the ministry of Mordecai is a ministry of fatherhood and covering. There are many vagabonds and bastards that want to become something in life. Even a king has a spiritual father called a priest because without the oil of a priest, no king can wear a crown. Queen Elizabeth needed the oil of priest in this land to be enthroned. They have to oil, anoint her. No king sits on a throne without anointing oil. Mm. David was anointed. Saul was anointed by Samuel. There is one greater than a king is called a priest. If Mordecai was out of the equation, Esther will not get any royal attention. If Mordecai was out of the equation, Esther would not have gotten any royal attention. What do I mean by royal attention? In the book of Esther chapter 16, chapter 2 verse 16, it says, So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Tibet, the seventh year of his reign. Verse 17 says, And the king loved Esther without the Mordecai ministration, she wouldn't have gotten royal attention. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she ob obtained what? Grace and favor in his sight, more than all the virgins. What type of virgin do you want to be? The five wise ones or the five foolish ones? Again, the parable. Five, they were classed as wise because they were prepared. They oiled their lamp. In the days when God wants you to oil your lamp, don't go about gallivanting. Mm. Don't waste your oil on people who are not going anywhere. Don't waste your oil with people who don't have a future. Some people look dressed for an occasion, but they have nowhere to go. Don't be impressed by appearance. Show me your vision. I will tell you where you are going to. Some people, they like talk more than the motion they engage. Hmm. Are you, am I communicating here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Without the ministry of Mordecai, Esther would not have gotten royal attention. Esther 2 17 and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti listen where you get to in life and you need your Mordecai to speak wisely may your Mordecai speak wisely amen whoever God has positioned in your life to push you so you can execute your potentials. When it gets to that moment, that day, that hour, that month, wherever, whoever, I pray that they would execute that ministry to see you execute your potential for greatness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every form of wisdom that needs to be imparted to you through preparation. That wisdom impartation, that wise impartation, your head will not reject it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Are, are you listening? Yes, sir. Life is not life is not gra gra. At all. Tell it's not gra gra. It's not gra gra. Where you are, you are a product of what you've listened to. What you are doing now is, a, is you, are, you are a product of an advice. Some people are self, -advi self advisors. <laughs> Who is prophet to tell me what to do? A small boy. What's wrong with this apostle? Let's go and sit down. Who cares? My name is Johnny Numa. Your name is different. Yeah, very, 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 very. You listen. Mm -hmm. You don't listen. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Some people hear, but they don't listen. They hear, but they don't what? Listen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. We live in a generation that hates instruction. We live in a generation that don't like instructions. We live in a generation that detests instruction. We live in a generation that see instruction as a distraction from their intention. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. They see instruction as a distraction from their own intention. Why should prophet tell me? Why should prophet tell me to not travel at this point? I remember when my father in law wanted to travel one time. Very important journey. Ticket, everything bought. I said, Don't go. Change your, your, your ticket. He changed his ticket. The day was meant to initially travel. He had, he, thank God he had changed his ticket. When he got home from work, sat down watching TV, heard news that the flight was meant to catch as soon as he arrived in Nigeria. The two plane crashed. So he would have been dead now. Instruction. Instruction. Don't go. Change your ticket. Who is it to talk to me? Don't go. Change your ticket. Don't go. One word. Change your word. That's all I said to you. And then listen. Some people will say, Do you know how much I spent? Listen, I would rather you lose 100 pound cancellation fee over having your destiny cancelled by death. Right. 100 pound cancellation fee, lose it over losing your destiny. And one thing that makes me know that Esther. Had been loyal because one thing people fail to understand is that your present time so between your present time and your fulfilled destiny there is the ministry of Mordecai but even in fulfilled destiny loyalty to Mordecai's ministry is pivotal for sustenance mm. You cannot get into the palace through Mordecai and disconnect from Mordecai. You will lose your life. That's right. Mm. It is loyalty to Mordecai's ministry that gave and kept Esther sustained as a royal. Meaning, God lifts you up. Don't dump God. Don't forget the praying altar that changed your life. Oh, they say, the prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. Don't, please. That's what the Bible says, right? Say prophets are fools. Hosea chapter 1. Eh? Say prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is a madman. Hosea what? Say seven, Hosea seven nine. Say he's, he's, he's mad. How can he tell me to do this? If I say stand up now, just run, run outside, eh, and come back. We just say this man is a fool. <laughs> he must be mad. Neman, a general came. Elisha said. He didn't even call, he didn't even acknowledge he just say tell that he told this a servant to go speak to a general and Naaman was angry very angry how can he how can he um send a servant to talk he didn't even come outside it was another servant that said please listen he did he ask you for money no did he ask you for silver no why can't you obey just go and bathe in the river Jordan seven times he did, and his life changed. The counsel that will change your life, 
the day that counsel will come may you not miss it amen the day that counsel will come may you not miss it amen whoever God has positioned in your life as a mother guy may you be humble enough to remain connected to the wisdom the counsel the nurturing the preservation the guidance that comes from that ministry in the name of Jesus amen the ministry of Monica is a ministry of fatherhood and covering we see there in Esther chapter 2 verse 7 and verse 15 15 says now when the turn of Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai who are taking her for his daughter who are taking her for his daughter the, let me tell you something the moment you come and connect to a ministry you get adopted by the grace from the altar that's where spiritual children are birthed but some people want the grace to run for them and work for them as they run their race but they don't want to be submissive to the carrier we are all adopted bought by grace the grace of jesus but the grace has been poured on men to guide to edify right. to lead mm. so many people come they connect to the ministry then they get adopted by the grace which makes them sons and daughters to the altar mm. but yet they don't now how do you how do you listen how do you connect to the grace of God upon the church you attend. Number one, obedience. Number two, listen to counsel. But most importantly, how many messages preached do you actually listen to and use to guide your life? Do you just come to church, clap and hear a pastor preach and that's it? Then your, your pastor will preach, that's it. How many of those messages do you have archived and you use them? They lot to you. Some people say, I, I want financial blessings. When we have thought about how you can be blessed, I want deliverance from satanic blood covenant. Go and watch the video. We have had services for it. Go and listen to the service. That's how the grace also works. You can pour oil on your head and lay hands on you and sit on your head and nothing changes. Because you only want the grace, abnormal use of the grace. But you can fool the man, you cannot fool the grace of God upon the man. Hmm. We're going to rise up tonight. And we're going to cry to God that Lord, position the right men. Position right women around me. That when it gets to pivotal times in my life, I will not be surrounded by wolves in sheep clothing. So people see your destiny and they act as though they want to see you fulfill it. Only for them to have an intention to see you fail completely. Let's rise up and go to pray. Someone say, Father. Father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Someone say, Father. Father. At every pivotal point of my life. At every pivotal May I be surrounded. May I be surrounded. May I be surrounded. May I be surrounded by my mother guy. By my mother guy. May I be surrounded. May I be surrounded. And may I be guided. And may I be guided by the ministry. By the ministry of my mother guy. Of my mother Lift your voice up and begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray. Abraham, may I be surrounded. May I be guided. By the ministry of my mother kind. Without mother kind, there would have been no Esther. Without mother kind, there would have been no Esther. Mother kind shielded the true identity of Esther by imparting her with wisdom and wise counsel. Abraham, Better pray for yourself. 
At every junction of my life, may I be surrounded with wise counsel. May I be surrounded with godly counsel. May I be surrounded with my mother. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone say, Father. Father. Through the process of preparation. Through the process of preparation. May I not outgrow my trainer. May I not outgrow my trainer. Hey. Through the process of preparation. Through the process of preparation. May I not. Some people grow wings. <laughs> you are a minister. You got you got imparted by grace. You now lay hands. Someone's uh, someone's um, um, tummy ache stopped. You now think that uh, you are now general of Asia in your own right. You now grow wings. May I not outgrow process. May I not outgrow my preparation system. Lift your hands and say, My father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to oh pray. Lord. Oh Lord. Someone say, Father. Father. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Through my season. Through my season. Of preparation. Of preparation. Through my season. Through my season. Of preparation. Of preparation. May I not. May I not. Outgrow training. Outgrow training. May I not outgrow my trainer. May I not outgrow my Lift trainer. your voice and begin to cry to the Father. Fire prayer, pray, 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 pray. Se paka polo do do. Shabala bala bala gadash. Le bo shabala bala. But I not outgrow training. Le bala bala. But I not outgrow my trainer. Le paka bala bala. But I not outgrow my trainer. Le paka bodo shab. Le braha bala bodo. But I not outgrow my trainer. Le paha bodo. But I not outgrow training. Through my season of preparation, Lord, keep me grounded. Keep me humble. Keep me grounded. Keep me humble. Shabala bala bala gadash. Lebala bala bala gadash. Lebala bala bala gadash. Shabala bala gadash. Lebala bala 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 gadash. Lebala bala bala gadash. Le bala 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 Le bala 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 Spiritually, financially, maritally. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As soon as I mentioned marital, the Lord said we need to pray. This year, there will be marriages in this house. Amen. Amen. There will be marriages. Amen. Amen. There will be marriages. There will be marriages. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And that's one thing you also need to pray about you. That area, your married to life, you need to pray about warfare against your married to life. But that's where one of your battles is, the area of your married to life. Because that place is where the enemy will want to use to cause trouble so that you don't fulfill your financial destiny. Oh, that's why we stop for today. But hear me, we're all going to pray this prayer, very simple prayer. Are you listening to me? This prayer we're taking now is this. Especially those who are singles. 
don't be quick to get married marriage is not for everybody <laughs> marriage is not for everybody marriage is for those who have grown up mm. and growing up is not age Again, you can be 60 and still be 16 in character, mind, attitude, and behavior. Marriage is not, is not, is not age thin. Marriage is not for everybody. Marriage cannot quench sexual pleasures. In fact, it increases it. Jesus. I need to marry just because I, they, they, they get us, they do me. Once, once I marry, I'll be all right. It's a lie. They Forget. do, they do. <laughs> Marriage! Don't worry, Valentine's seminar will deal with it. Hey, Valentine is coming. Me and my mom are going to be on this. Other, uh, when I preach five minutes, she will also stay at home. That's how I preach another. Hey! So she'll be on the left, I'll be on the right. When I talk left, she will talk right. Hey! So now we can. We can we, <laughs> Come on. Now, Amy. <laughs> this is what the Lord said. Let me give you a quick snippet of what is coming. The Lord said, marriage uncovers who you really are. Uh, Even without responsibility. As you enter marriage like this, marriage is a pill. I just peel you out. <laughs> if you are a lazy man, it will show. Bam. If you are dirty, it will show. Bam. If you fart any up, it will show. Pew, pew. <laughs> because marriage is a place that make your guards is, will be down and your true person is revealed. Jesus. So if you marry the wrong wife, ah, blood of Jesus. you will not go outside and say, This one, don't mind him. This pastor is there. Do you lift your leg, shut fire. People are falling, but I told me he just farted. He just messed in there. Boxers on the, boxers on the roof, t shirt on the table. Don't mind him, boss. Let's not debate. Let's wait till Valentine's Day. Valentine's Sunday service. It will be an amazing time here. <laughs> Who is waiting for that? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 let me share something. One, one. <laughs> we are at home. <laughs> so, so, um, I forgot what I did. Uh, I didn't forget, but I'm not going to say <laughs> uh, shush exposure uh, so I, I did some moments I said see you you now go outside we call you man of God see see you hey. apostle see hey. if I to say this in church hey. you will say prophet <laughs> may you marry well amen the ladder your amen hey. shall it be hey amen <laughs> My father, my father. As I begin to pray. I'm going to pray this prayer. Mm. Please. For those who are still single, the Lord said, tell make, tell, tell all this prayer into your preparation for marriage. Mm. To pray, your, and for those who want financial breakthrough, tell all, Father, may I not miss the essence of my preparation. May I not miss the essence of my preparation season. I listen to me. Yes, sir. In those days, like two, 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 about three, yeah, 20, 20, 2017, I was getting contact left, right, center from Ghana, from India, and from Nigeria. You are a young man. We have seen you. You, are, you have a great anointing. But come, let us give you more power. Come. Will give you riches, will give you influence, affluence, and everything you need. This is not a joke. Occultic men, when they saw this Oboni, these things are real. Illuminati, these things are real. I, I, I told one of them on the I said, if you contact me again, you will die. Now listen to me. There is nothing that the devil gives you free of charge. Mm. He gives one, he collects seven. That's true. God is only a, is a good giver. Mm. He gives without strings attached. In fact, the Bible says, the gift of God is without repentance. That's right. So why would I leave that kind of God and come to you? 
But one thing that kept me then, which I, mama, mama, I always tell mama, I said, I know I am going through a process. Some of you are quick to turn to eat with the devil the moment God is testing you. Just because God keeps quiet for two months, you quickly go to a palm reader to see what, the, what, your, what your palm is saying. Mm. Eh? Just because God keeps quiet for one week, you are ready to go to any altar for them to pour oil on your head. Sometimes God keeps quiet to make you grow up. It's seen that you have been too pampered or you have not done something with the last instruction he gave you. Listen, a, see, when God wants to speak to you, God does not give you too many things in one go. God will That's give right. you one. Yes. When you finish executing, He will give you the second one. That is what is called glory to glory. God doesn't give glories to glories. Glory, singular, to glories. Meaning, at one achievement to the next achievement. One attainment to the next attainment. Am I communicating here? Yes, sir. The question is, what was... Okay, let's, 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 let's reflect this way. What was the instructions God gave you for the year 2020? If you are to sit down, did you execute everything? Then why are you asking him for 2021 vision? Are, are, are we understanding something now? Many of us are failing in the execution of the vision God has given us, but we want, one, we want more vision for manifestation 2021. Go and finish the 2021. Finish the 2020 vision, then 2021 will be. Before you, 2021 will just be revealed. As I'm talking to you now, I, am, I have gotten vision for 2022. Because why? 2021, I'm already executing what the Lord said. From crossover service, checklist, checklist is going. What? Executing like that. Pia, pia, pia. What about you? Man of God, prophesy. Prophesy. Like all those churches that um, four spirits used to catch them. Hmm. Hmm. That's where demons are possessing you. <laughs> prophesy. No, they will just prophesy lie to you and your life doesn't change. Hmm. Before God speaks, now, your sat nav, we know. You're driving somewhere, your sat nav will say, in 10 miles or in one in 10 miles take junction two once you get one mile close they say in one mile take junction two when you get 10 yards close come off now take your next right or take your next left that's how god is god will not be seeing you twenty thousand miles away and he'll be telling you take left take right you will get a, you have accident if Satnav created my men, don't walk that way. How much more God? If God has said, take M1 and it's kept quiet, it's because your next exit has not yet come. Just have faith and maintain M1. Have faith and maintain the that M1. Because when the next junction comes, it will tell you what to do next. And that's what the spirit of Mordecai does. That the ministry of Mordecai. The ministry of Mordecai speaks and expects you to catch. Many of you work with men of God. You, 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 are, too, you are too slow to even eye. The, the man of God look at you with one eye. You are waiting for him to look with eye, speak with mouth, draw ear, raise leg, and everybody knows. Foolishness. Mordecai did see. Mo, do you know that? King Ahasuerus did not know that Mordecai was related to Esther. Do you know that? King Ahasuerus did not know that Mordecai and Esther had any connection. It was after Eman or Aman, whatever you pronounce him, tried to bring laws that would execute the Jews. It was through the revelation that King Ahasuerus came to find out that Mordecai that has always been at his gates was the uncle and the adopted father to his wife, the queen. That same gate that Mordecai sat down was that same gate that Mordecai was passing information through wisdom to Esther that kept her sustained in the palace. Your man of God sits at the gate of your destiny. 
He sits at the gates of your life. Sometimes he doesn't need to open his mouth to speak too much. He, once he cuts eye, you should catch something. Mm. But this only comes in the place where you have been properly prepared. So you understand his signals and his operational codes. Someone say, Father. Father. Help me properly prepare myself. Help me properly prepare myself. May I be properly prepared. 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 For the season of fulfillment. For the season of Lift fulfillment. Lift your voice and begin to pray quickly. May I be properly prepared for that season of fulfillment. Marital, spiritual, financial. May I be properly prepared for the season of fulfillment that when the hour comes when the time comes I will not miss out on what God you want to use my life to execute Father may I be properly prepared that through the season of preparation I will catch the essence and the reasons and the qualities and the values and the characteristics that you want me to engage and catch when you are preparing me Lord as Avalagadasha Pray, 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 pray. Shakabala Balagadash. Pray, 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 pray. Libraham, no, 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 no. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are not catching that prayer. Let me say something to you. Then. Please catch this. Esther chapter 3, verse 14. It says, For if thou altogether oldest thy peace at this time, then shall there and enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed now look at how Mordecai ended this he says and who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this what happened there prior to this statement from Mordecai to Esther was that Ammon had already passed a decree in the name of the king to execute all the Jews and Mordecai was sack clothes and ashes on his head and was crying and fasting and he told Esther you are the king's wife save us Esther said I cannot go to the king's court though, because I don't have the pass to get into the king's court normally you can't just turn up as a wife to the king's court you will get killed you only get into the king's court whether husband or wife as long as he's the king you only go into the king's court by invitation but mother guy was telling Esther, you have to go and see the king immediately because the lives of all the Jews is hanging on the thread. Esther says she can't do it because it is royal protocol, she could lose her life. And what was Mordecai's response? All the wisdom I've passed in you, all the counsel I've given you, all the training season, and most importantly, the time of preparation. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Whether you have come to this kingdom for a time as this. Every preparation is always for a season. But some people fail to understand the season when it comes. If you fail to understand the season or your season when it comes, it means, child of God, you fail to understand the reason for the preparation. Understanding the reasons for preparation is what brings you into what? The right season. Imagine all the preparation Jesus went through and when he came to die for you and I, he refused to go die. He said, I want to give birth to some children. And God, how can I die? I don't have any girlfriend. I don't have any wife. No child yet. No babe. Nothing. I've not tasted life. I've not bought us. I've not bought a house. How can I die? If I tell you now to go to Afghanistan and go and do evangelism, you say this pastor is wicked. He's very wicked. He didn't send me to New York, Afghanistan. Where they are throwing but boom, 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 boom. He wants to send me there. He has not gone there. What have I done for myself? That's what they will say. I've heard people who say, oh, Prophet John is wicked. Look at the kind of strict regime he puts me on. One woman said, ah, this man is very wicked man. He doesn't want me to enjoy myself in this winter. But he's married. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself to a man that is not designed to be your husband. A man entered church today, Monday morning. He entered church Sunday afternoon, Monday morning. He woke up from your bedroom. Hey, solid guy. And you are a minister in charge of prayer. 
The United States prophet John is wicked. He doesn't want me to enjoy in winter. You know, I needed heat. Carry heat and put under your duvet. Turn it up. You'll be warm. Maximum. You'll, you'll be warm. <laughs> if you don't have heater, get um, water flasks. Wrap it under your... When you sleep with water flasks, all your body will do... Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> but she said I was wicked. After having two children with two different men, I should not be allowing you just jump on any other man without scrutinizing the man. If that is wickedness, I receive that wickedness. I am wicked. Indeed, I like that wickedness. No, I am saving you. Because why? You are only going through preparation. If you cannot, you, if you cannot warm yourself up in the winter season of your life, no man will do it for you. No man can do it for you. No man. man and no electronic eater will do it at all at all what do you want to do you want to tear your stomach and put it inside and sew it Try. <laughs> many people fail to understand that today's preparation is for a coming season mm. but if you fail to understand why god is preparing you you will fail to execute the season you will fail to execute god's intention in the season thank god that esther after Mordecai said that to Esther in Esther chapter 3 verse 14 don't you know that you have been prepared for a time as this to save us from the butchery slaughter from the sword and the knife and the axe of Ammon's wicked judgment don't you know that God has prepared you thank God she listened and she, she said go and fast I fast after three days after three days they all came together Three days and three nights first, they came together. And Esther went to the king. And letting the king saw the king, he said, and Esther found favor in the sight of the king. And that was what saved Israel. The Jews from being slaughtered. Your next prayer is this, Father. May I today engage, or let me say, give me grace and, the, and patience to engage the reason for my preparation so that I can enter the season of manifestation. Someone say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. Give me grace. And patience. And patience. And patience. And patience. To engage. To engage. The reason. The reason. For my preparation season. For my preparation season. That I may enter. That I may enter. My manifestation my season. My manifestation Lift season. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Pray, pray, pray. May I not miss the reason for my season of preparation so that I enter my season of manifestation without lack of understanding, oh God. Pray, 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 pray. You have 30 more seconds to pray that prayer. You have 30 more seconds to take that prayer. You have 30 more seconds to take that prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. I pray for you. I prophesy over your lives. Prophesy. That in the name of Jesus. Everyone physical or watching virtually, I pray. Every reason, whether small or great, every reason for which God is taking you through a season of preparation, may you not miss any in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every reason for which God is taking you through 
a season of preparation financial marital your career whatever form of preparation it is you will not miss the reason for your season of preparation in the name of jesus amen and i pray for you that the men and the women god has positioned in your lives and in your life to guide you to counsel you to nurture you to father you to mother you to push you out of your comfort zone for the execution of your potential that man that woman from the office of your pastors to so ever God has divinely positioned I pray for grace for you to be submissive to the ministry of your mother Kai in the name of Jesus amen without Mordecai there would have been no Esther no Adassa without Mordecai Esther would have died prematurely because Mordecai's training kept the true identity of Esther for a timely season in Esther 